Hello there. I am a 22-year-old college student who has decided to take an education course. Now, this education course, I needed to have several items inside a binder that I am going to present to you today. And so, here it is. This is the title page. It's the Teaching Portfolio Binder. Here is my name, and here is the Delta ID number. So let's flip it. So right here, here is the teaching portfolio. Um, the contents that it needed. And so I have all of the stuff that it requested on here. So we're going to turn the page. So for our first subject, we have the TB clearance. Now for this, I needed to take a blood test to make sure that I was healthy enough to go into um, classroom observations. And for the because it was a second grade course, I needed to make sure that I was healthy enough to do it, and I was. So let's put this away. The second item I am going to show you is my Lincoln Elementary. Um, the fingerprint test um, for for these guys, however. They said that I didn't need to do the fingerprint clearance test, that a staff member was going to be in there at all times to see if, to watch what I was doing. And so here's their signature. And so that's it. Let's move on to the next page. Here is the fieldwork information form. I have all of my information filled out here. And it says right here that I went to a second into a second grade class to observe notes in. So right here, we have the classroom management observation paper. So for this assignment, we had to write an essay on all the notes we took while in that classroom. And so, yeah, this is mine. Here's the title page. Here's some. Here's the six pages that I typed in. And so, I'm going along. I'm describing what the classroom is like and how the teachers organized it. And here's the uh, handwritten notes that I did while doing this essay. Here I talk about behavior management, and this is my conclusion to the paper. And I got a um, 95 out of 100 out of it. I'm going to put that there. Here is a thank you note to my teacher, Mr. Vivian. He didn't have to help me out, but he was a cool enough guy to do so. And I really appreciate him and that he let me observe his classroom while I was there. And so, thank you, Mr. Vivian. This thank you note is dedicated to you. And so, for the next part, we have the observation notes and the signatures. And so, these are all the signatures that he did. And I did 38 hours of content while I was over there. Now you're probably thinking, well, wait, Timmy's supposed to do 45 when he's doing the education class. Well, because of the coronavirus, I wasn't allowed to finish all those hours. Luckily, we had alternative hours, and I was able to finish those out. And so here are my notes for both sets of hours. This is for the classroom. So flip this really quickly. And it's 38 hours of content in here. And then this is the video instruction observation set. And it has 14 pages worth of content. Let's 
very hard to grasp this thing. Just bear with me, folks. <laughs> So like this one's like fifth grade writing and I had to detail everything about it. This one's fourth grade spatial reasoning. And now the last one's fourth grade visualizing with fractions. Um, it was very interesting. I think I learned a lot while doing it. And yeah, it was an interesting 45 hours, if I do say so myself. So. The next subject I want to show you is my teaching autobiography. And I got a 97 out of 100 out of it. And I had to write down all the events in my life that led to me wanting to become a teacher from how I graduated from high school to getting a job to doing my doing an observation. So here's all the text that I did. Bear with me folks, I think we have a technical difficulty. Here's the conclusion. And then here are the uh, handwritten notes that I did. Here's the conclusion. Um, it was a fun project to work on and definitely helped me clarify a few things for myself on why I wanted to become a teacher. Now the last thing I want to show you is my lesson plan. Now for this assignment we had to come up with a lesson and so I decided to do math for 8th graders. Now initially I was observing a 2nd grade classroom but I wanted to be an elementary teacher that could fill in for kindergartens all the way to eighth grade and so I decided to go for an eighth grade subject because I wanted to challenge myself and see if I was up to that level. So basically the assignment for here was I would give, it, give them a sheet that had five problems on it and they, have to gra they had to graph each problem on it. and. Like here, right here, I said construct a function to model linear relationship between two quantities. And here I list the materials they need and what's, ex what's expected of them and how I want them to do it. And then for here, the lesson will come to a close when the timer goes off. And we're going to do some informal evaluation, which means... I'm not going to exactly grade them, I'm just going to discuss with them the lesson and if they need more help with the, their math lesson or not. So yeah, that's my graphing lesson. Well, thank you for watching and to close this video off, I want to list a few things. Now, the interesting thing that I found out about education was how when setting up your classroom, it can dramatically affect a, a child's innate sense of wonder and wanting to learn while they were there. And I feel I learned a lot when doing the observation notes, when doing that assignment. Now, for my second point, now we all know about the coronavirus and how people are scared of it and how it's dramatically affecting people's lives. Now what I think in the future in terms of you know how we're all going to be teaching from now on I think it's strictly going to be online because the virus has just made public spaces too hazardous and it's a tragedy but that's just what I think the way the future is going to be. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is Tim Nooner signing off. Take care.